favorite tip for not only cleaning the paint off my Miela, but off of a lot of other things. One of these days, I really need to introduce you to my entire family of Mielas. But for today, we're just going to go over um, one of my main gals, my S7 Pure Wet Upright. Now, please excuse her appearance. She is due for her annual service. Got to go ahead and change her HEPA filter. Um, Got to service out the brush roller. Just give her a little bit of a freshening. Uh, and I'll take that into the shop to do that. So I figured this would be a great opportunity to show you guys something that you can do at home really easily to not only keep your, um, your vacuum looking really, really nice, you can use this in like a gajillion different ways. <laughs> and all it involves is one little tiny bottle of lemon oil. Now, all you need today is lemon oil, okay? Cotton rounds or a cotton ball or just a paper towel. And because this stuff is so safe, as long as you're not like allergic to lemons, all you're gonna do is just take a little drop, just kind of rub it where you see the paint. I'm just gonna take my cotton round, just kind of work it in there, and hopefully you can see it's already dissolving that paint. And keep in mind, I put this on my finger and it hasn't rotted off yet. <laughs> it doesn't burn, it doesn't sting, doesn't do anything, but dissolve paint. Okay, so I got that off pretty good. And I'm just doing this really quick just to give you an idea. So I'm going to leave some of it so you can just see what was there. That smells really good. <laughs> Alright, what I would just do if you want to get that residue off is just follow up with some cleaner. As you probably know, I'm a big fan of natural cleaners like Calgary or Myers. Just spray a little bit on a paper towel. Just give it a wipe down. Now again, I did not do this very thoroughly. I encourage you to do a better job. But this just gets the residue off. And this smells really good too. <laughs> but the point is, you don't want to be cleaning your house with a dirty vacuum. That makes like no sense. The little gouges and stuff that you see in the plastic, that's completely harmless. Um, the plastic on Mila's um, are a little bit soft. That's what enables it to kind of seal down on itself and maintain such a high level of filtration. It makes it a little bit more resilient as it does bump around the house over the years. So it's uh, more flexible and less prone to breakage. But if you smack it hard enough into the coffee table, yeah, you're going to gouge the plastic. But again, it doesn't hurt anything. Now I'm going to show you a couple other awesome things that you can do with lemon oil.